Hey everybody, Michael Bay here. Welcome to MB3 University here on YouTube. Um, we're gonna have to learn how to make this. It's very fun, very simple. You can position things however you want them. Uh, this has a light, and I don't know if you can tell in the face and in the body. But anyways, you don't have to work with use the light. You don't have to have these twists like this, but I think it looks really cool. But it's really big and fun. And what you're gonna need is three 350s or 360s, depending on if you're using Qualitex or Vitalik or Gemma or whatever. So three of those, whatever color you want, and a 160. Okay, that's just to make it. If you want to make the tight curl like this, then you're gonna need some, um, I use, uh, Pro U Glue Dashes. Pro U Glue Dashes, and I get those from Tristan Michael Savage over at US Party Company. And if you want to use lights, I get those there as well, LED lights. So that's extra, but you can make it without that. But if you want that tight little curl like that, then you will need some glue dashes blue dots or whatever you want to use that's what I use and if you want lights in it let me see if I close the blinds if you can see the lights more. Hold on. it should be able to see that a little bit more yeah see and I use these lights because they not only change color they change tempo so it looks like there's a lot more going on and they don't sync up and just looks really fun okay let's get started Okay, so we have our three 350s or 360s, three inch thick balloons, and uh, a 160. So let's blow that 160 up all the way. Okay, give it a burp. Give it a squeeze and a, and a stretch. You want that blown up all the way, okay? Just set that aside, we'll get back to that. Now, we're gonna make the wings. So the top wings, we're gonna blow the 350, 360 up completely. I'm using a filbert pump. Now what I do is I don't fill it up and then I give it a squeeze to fill it out and that way it stays soft. Because we're going to want to shape that. So I'm going to tie that off. There's one. Let's take another one. I have a light pink, but let me get a different color. Let's get something completely different like, I don't know, yellow. There we go. The more colors to me, the better, but it's up to you. Now, the second one, you're going to leave five, six fingers. Give it a squeeze because the low, this is the lower wings and they're smaller. Okay. I'll keep doing this for point of reference. Right? So we got our 160 blown up. That's going to be the antenna. We blew these up all the way right here. And now I'm blowing up these bottom ones, which I'm making yellow here. So I'm going to tie that off. So what I do is, I'm gonna find the middle of that, okay? I'm gonna come here. Then we're gonna find the middle of the big wings. In the middle, and then I'm connect them. There you go, like that. So now, the lower wings, you're gonna have like that. These ones are going to actually wedge in here. And go like that, okay? So now, this is how we, well, well, we'll shape them in a minute. Let's go ahead and blow up the body. So you're not gonna blow that up all the way either. You're gonna leave like a five, six finger tail. You know. Burp and a squeeze, whoop. And then squeeze. Now, you want this long enough to cover there, so. Oh, is it nine inches or so? Now we're gonna make a bubble, about three fingers, whatever, and pinch twist it. Pull it, because you want it kind of flat like that. You don't want it round. Now, give it a squeeze, let the air go down, make another one, and match that one. Simple. Now we're gonna come around between those two like that, and grab the knot, Give this a squeeze and twist it, and then I run that up and through once. Okay, 
Now we're gonna make two, like two finger pinch twists here, okay? Squeeze in as we go. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze out the rest of the way. So, now we're gonna start positioning these. These are gonna be that way, and these are gonna be straight up and down. All held nice together. Now what I'm gonna do is, where it comes up, where it starts to go around, I'm gonna give it a squeeze and about a hand's width. Not at the same time. Squeeze this one, then bend this one. One, two, if you squeeze them both at the same time, the air has nowhere to go, and it will explode. Okay, we're more, more that shape, as opposed to this. So we do the same on the other side. More of that shape. Now what I do here is in the back, after it comes around here, I pinch and I I roll it like that. So it does that. Makes this tighter to wedge things in and I think it looks better too. Same thing on the other side. So the back looks like that. See the front's like that. This is all nice and tight. Uh oh, we have deflation here. It's back here under those two bubbles down here. Let's fix that. Throw that up. Save that, you can use that for something else. Wrap that in there really good. Okay. So back to where you are. So we go down there. That's what we want right there. So now, if you're not going to use glue dashes with these, you can just, after four or five fingers, make a, a do like that, do it again. And maybe I made it too soft. So instead of making a tight curl, you can do kind of like that, you know, and do a couple of those. I think that looks more like an ant. But if you like what I did, what I do is, these U-glue dashes are called Pro U-glue dashes. These are phenomenal. I get these from US Party Supply. So you just take one off and underneath here. What I do is do that just a little bit just to get it to start to curl on both sides. And what that does is, whoa, it just makes it do that so there's less resistance, which with these, you really don't need that. They're really good. But as, you definitely want to do that if you're not using this brand because it's probably not as strong. So on each side underneath the curl, I'm putting a glue dash like that. Then I'm going to come down, I don't know, eight, nine inches and do another one on each side. I'm not going to take the paper off yet. These, they peel right off this photography paper, and then you still have a paper on top. So it's not sticking to itself when you're moving it around. So, yeah, you wanna place those. Then what you're gonna do, one side at a time, make sure that's on. With these, if you just flip your thumb around the edges, one side comes up and it's done, there it is. Do the same over here. By the way, if you go to US Party Supply, the owner's name, Tristan Michael Savage. If you use, you know, you're watching MB3 University. If you use product code MB3, you get 10% off. So here, so put that there. These are great for snails too. Ram horns, and look at that. A knot in a tree if you do decor. I mean, they're great. You can stick hats on things now. The great thing about these things is uh, they're easy to use, they're very strong, but um, you don't have to break a line to attach something like a missile or a machine gun on an airplane or you know accessories or ties or a bow on something's head. I did a, a baby um, reveal thing and uh, I put a bow and just stuck it right on the, the round, just one of these, and it, it doesn't go anywhere. That's something really good. So let's do the other side. So they're called Pro U Blue Dashes. I get them from US Party Supply as well as the LED lights. 
I'm gonna be showing you how to downsize this as well. So let's do that. Now you can offset them, have one a little bit bigger. You can have them in the middle, have them both the same. The other one, I think I did them the same. This one, I'm gonna offset it a little bit. And we got that pinch twist for the head. So this just wedges right in there really nicely. And then you can place it where you want it. How cute is that? If you want, like since if you're using the U-Glue dashes, you have so much more options now. Like I want them to touch and stay exactly like that no matter what. I'm gonna stick a dash there. All right, that's this. You know, kids run around, it's not going anywhere. And it looks perfect every time. So when people are running around, when they leave the event and they see stuff, where'd you get that? You know, oh, over here. Well, can I get a card? Do you do parties? Or on the in the photos, you know, it's 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 those little things. It's those little things. But you don't have to do this. All right? And now with the lights, all you do is these are they sometimes are called tea lights. Now, can you get them other places? Absolutely. I, I found some cheaper on uh, Amazon. The th problem is um, the bag fell, and this happened. They broke into pieces, but like half of them did. The same thing happened with this. I have some broken in there. There's like five or six in a bag of like 200. So that's why I use these. So they have a little tab on them, and they're round, so they fit in balloons really well. So you can use a goat castrator to put these in balloons, but this you don't need to because of these two being wedged so tight there, and this cross section of balloons and the body being tight, all you gotta do is pull the tab, which, pull the tab and see the blinking. See, watch, watch the tempo change. See, now it goes faster and the colors change. A lot of people have never seen light in a balloon, they get amazed. So I'm just gonna wedge that right, right in there like that. And then I'm gonna take the other one, pull the tab once again. I always have a little cup for the little papers and stuff. Yeah. And I'm just gonna drop it in there, wedge it in. Whoop, you gotta watch out for that. Find where two balloons are squishing together and just wedge it in. Let's, I'll close the blinds again. Hold on. There, and now, see what we got going there? Okay. Now, Another thing, you can sit there and hand it to them like this. You can grab your Sharpie and do some pen work. Uh, another product I use, Bada Boom Stickers. Liza Peterson's Bada Boom Stickers, BadaBoomStickers.com. She has all kinds of stuff, superheroes. And but look at the detail in that blue, the eyelashes, the white, the black, the little white dot for the glow. And you can just buy these by the sheet. Tell her I sent you, and she'll send you some samples of other stuff that you don't buy. So when you make a purchase, she'll say, hey, here's a little sample pack, and you just get some other neat little stuff. A lot of the stuff I'm using is because she gave it to me in a sample pack, and I was like, oh. So, I mean, there. Now I'm just gonna put a little smile. I'll draw two little cheeks, like that. A little, little smile. Now, I'm gonna make the mouth a little bit open. Put a little line underneath like that. But look how cute that is. It's a little, a little detail. How fun is that? You know, they're gonna be flopping it all over the place. And that's it. So, you, know, you can mix up the colors, do whatever you want. These are very, very popular.